Hey guys, Alicia here. And if you hear weird noises, I've got my puppy right there too. Um, today I am gonna be doing a crock pot apple pecan crunch, also known as a dump cake. I love doing these dump cakes. They are so easy and they taste so good. So I thought I would do a fall version of one and I typically do these in the oven, but I'm gonna be doing this one in the crock pot today because again, it's fall and I love using my crock pot, especially in the fall time. So we're gonna be doing this in the crock pot, but this can very easily be done in the oven too. I've done previous videos on dump cakes. I think a pumpkin pecan and a triple berry. I will link those up above and down below if you haven't seen those. Go ahead and check those other two out if you haven't seen them and you want to, but let's jump into this one. First off, what you're gonna need is some apples. Now, typically when you're doing this type of a dessert, you want to use a tart apple, like a Granny Smith. The tartness just pairs really well with the sweetness of the cake mix. So you wanna use an apple with a little bit of tartness. I am gonna be using the Sweet Tangos today. I have really been loving these, not only to cook with, but just to eat. They are slightly sweet, but they're also a little bit tart. So there's kind of a nice combo of sweet and tartness. And I just think that they work well in these types of recipes. So I'm gonna be using these today. And what I'm gonna be trying to get is about six cups of chopped apples. That's probably gonna be somewhere between six and eight apples. These are decent sized. So I'm guessing again, about six to eight of these. Next, you're gonna need a cake mix, yellow cake mix. You could use a white, you could use a spice, whatever you wanna use. I'm gonna use yellow today, and that is a 15.25 ounce box. I have been using this Truvia brown sugar blend, and I've actually been liking it. I always say I don't like the sugar substitutes, the no calorie sugar substitutes, what they taste like in baked goods, but this one's not bad. I'm gonna be using about a third cup of this, and the conversion on this stuff is, it's not a one to one ratio, it's a half. So if you were gonna be using a cup of regular sugar in a recipe, you would only use a half cup of this. I'm gonna be using about six tablespoons of this Brummel and Brown butter spread. You could use a light margarine. I just really like this Brummel and Brown stuff. I'm gonna be using a third cup chopped pecans. Now that measurement is based on once they've been chopped, not pre-chopped. For seasoning, I'm gonna be using a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg, and just a pinch of salt. And then you're gonna want some nonstick spray to spray your crock pot with. That's all that's in this. Let me get started and show you how this comes together. First thing I'm gonna do is get my apples peeled and chopped up. So I'm gonna start on that. And I'm just chopping them in fairly small little pieces like this. I've got my apples all cut up here and I ended up using seven. It's a little over six cups, but that's fine. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Spray the inside of my crock pot with this cooking spray. And then I'm gonna dump my apples in. I'm gonna sprinkle a teaspoon of cinnamon on top of them. And about three quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Just a little bit of salt. And a third cup of that trevia. And now I'm gonna just kinda stir all that together in here. Now I'm gonna take my six tablespoons of Brummel and Brown, I'm gonna microwave that to get that melted. And then over here, I am chopping up my pecans in this little nut chopper to get that third cup. I'm gonna take my cake mix and I'm gonna just dump this on the top of the apples as evenly as I can. And I'm gonna pour my Brummel and Brown on top of the cake mix. And I'm gonna take a fork and just kind of 
work that butter around a little bit in there. And now I'm gonna sprinkle my third cup pecans on the top. Now I'm going to cover this and I'm gonna set it to high and I'm gonna let it cook about two hours probably. I'll check on it here before that point. But it'll be probably two, two and a half hours. And then I will be back. Okay, it has been a couple hours and this is looking done. I checked the apples, they are soft. So I'm gonna turn the heat off of this and then I'm gonna let it cool just a little bit before I get a serving out. Okay, I've got a serving of this, which is a 12th, and that's a little tricky to try to figure out in the crock pot. So that's probably the only thing I don't like about doing these in the crock pot is trying to figure out the, serve the serving size. But anyway, the serving is a 12th and it is eight points on all three colors. I went ahead and put a little bit of Ready Whip on there for an additional point. So this, as you see it here, would be nine points, but the dessert alone is eight points. So I'll have my hubby give it a try. It's still fairly hot. Yeah, that's really good. Um, it's a very fall apple dessert, you know, mm -hmm. traditional tasting. You got the nice apple flavor with the spices. And then you've got the, uh, I'll call it breading, I realize it's cake. I mean, if you're somebody that likes um, apple desserts, like an apple crisp or an apple pie, this is this will definitely, uh, I think, be a crowd pleaser for you. And you don't necessarily care for apple. That's not your favorite, I should say. No, like I, I'm, I like making apple pies, but I don't like eating them. Yeah. I not, mean, I can appreciate a good apple dessert. It's just not something I would. See, I love the first. I love the apple. This one still is not my favorite out of the all the ones that we've done, um, but it is very good because I do love apple stuff, apple crisp, apple cake, apple anything. Yeah, that's a great fall. Um, Dessert. All flavors. All right, guys, that is apple pecan crunch or dump cake, whatever you want to call it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you, as always, for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.